Hello and welcome to Cloud Tech Talks. This is Pritesh. I'm back with another video. This video is about uh, explaining what is CI/CD, uh, what are the key benefits of CI/CD, and why one should be incorporating CI/CD in their development process. Uh, so let's get started. So to understand the fundamental concept of CI/CD, let's understand where it stems from, right? So this is the process of DevOps. I think we've covered this uh, in some of the previous videos I've done. If you've not seen them, uh, I'll link the videos in the description below. Uh, essentially, this is the full process where uh, you look at it uh, when it starts from someone who plans a code as a developer, then moves to the code, builds the code, uh, does a proper testing for the code. This is the process of continuous testing. Then the code is released, then it's put into deployment, then it's operated, and then it's monitored. Uh, but then it doesn't stop there. It goes on, uh, goes on in this continuous loop. And that's why this process is essentially infinite. And uh, uh, it's supposed to be that way because you, you have to make sure that you are uh, uh, doing this at the most efficient way possible. And uh, that's where the whole process of DevOps comes into play. Now, uh, how does CI and CD uh, come into play, right? So the, def the textbook definition is continuous integration and continuous deployment or continuous delivery, right? So CI sits here and CD sits here. Um, and it's not a tool, it's not uh, something that you buy uh, from the marketplace or anything. Uh, it's essentially a, 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 a concept, a practice, uh, very similar to DevOps. Uh, however, uh, this concept is meant to bring in efficiency in the process of the overall uh, uh, you know, coding that uh, someone does, uh, all the way from the planning the code to the time you have you have released it, deployed it, and you monitor it as well, right? So this entire process is is actually embedded, uh, uh, has this CI and CD pipeline process embedded, and there are a lot of tools for it uh, uh, which do CI CD pipelines. So Jenkins is a classic example, one of the most popular open source softwares, which does the monitoring of uh, CI CD, and uh, obviously every single step that you see here has a has a dedicated tool in some or the other way which some developers prefer over the other and uh, this uh, can be achieved with those given set of tools so why does one essentially want to deploy this kind of process right so let's look at the benefits number one you can do things faster so uh, the number one benefit is speed Anybody who's uh, who's essentially working on anything like this uh, definitely wants to deploy code faster. Or definitely wants to meet customer demands faster. Uh, wants to go to market faster, and that's why uh, the whole principle has come into play in the first place. The second most, uh, I would say, one of the most relevant benefits is the fact that you can increase efficiency across the process of DevOps and um, and with this practice put into play, you can make all of your developers way more efficient than they uh, than they are, right? So uh, you don't you don't look at it from a siloed perspective. You don't look at it from a uh, from the perspective of uh, a waterfall, a legacy approach. No, uh, you look at it as as a modern day practice where everything that you do is continuously looking at uh, uh, you know continuously integrated, continuously deployed. Uh, or delivered as far as the business demands are concerned. So that's the second benefit. Now let's look at the third benefit. Third benefit is the ability to bring in automation, right? So when you when you look at the use of some of the tools available as open source tools or even enterprise tools in the market, uh, you are uh, you are able to bring in a lot of efficiency across all of this uh, process and. When you bring in automation, obviously you reduce the dependency on uh, on people, uh, and uh, you can deploy your uh, you know resources better, and you can you know put them to uh, work in areas where they'd be more required as opposed to dealing with something that can be automated by by a machine, right? So that brings us to the fourth benefit, which is essentially allocation of resources. Right, so you don't have to look at it from the perspective of uh, 100 developers doing this job. Probably bringing in some automation can reduce that load down to 80 or maybe even 60, and that's how CI and CD helps the overall process. Now, uh, this is 
more the textbook definition and what the benefits are in terms of uh, CI and CD. In the next video, I'll elaborate a little bit more on connected concepts and uh, maybe a deeper dive into some of these concepts to get you a better understanding. So let me know how you find this one. This is Pritesh signing off from Cloud Tech Talks. Thank you.